This is a trial in progress, so basically reporting on the study design of uh, this ongoing study that's now open, uh, a phase two stu randomized study uh, comparing azacitidine and venetoclax with azacitidine, venetoclax, and pevonetostat uh, in patients with uh, newly diagnosed AML who are unfit for intensive chemotherapy. And so this is a population where we have made significant improvements uh, with the addition of venetoclax to azacitidine We've, uh, that has improved uh, overall survival as is shown in the Viali A study. Um, however, the outcomes are still suboptimal for patients with, with uh, newly diagnosed AML uh, who are older, unfit for intensive chemotherapy. And so pevonetostat is a very um, uh, uh, pro potentially promising option in this setting. So pevonetostat is a first-in-class inhibitor of uh, an enzyme call uh, called the NED8 activating enzyme. Essentially, this is an enzyme involved in uh, protein uh, ubiquitization and degradation of proteins uh, through the proteasome. And so uh, pevonetostat blocks this enzyme and therefore leads to accumulation of certain uh, proteins that are important for triggering apoptosis in malignant cells. And so there are several studies reporting on the, the efficacy of pevonetostat um, in myeloid uh, malignancies, uh, and that have also showed the safety of this triplet regimen. Uh, for example, uh, at MD Anderson, we've, we've, we've uh, reported initial uh, data on a phase one, two study of azacitidine, venetoclax, and pevonetostat in uh, patients uh, with newly diagnosed uh, secondary or therapy-related AML. And we've shown that that's a, a safe combination. So the, the purpose of this current study is to see whether or not we can improve event, uh, improve event free survival um, for these patients with the addition of pevonetostat. So the study, again, is designed for patients with newly diagnosed AML who are unfit for intensive chemotherapy. They're randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive either azacitidine venetoclax at standard doses or azacitidine, venetoclax, and pevonetostat. And again, the primary endpoint is event-free survival with the key secondary endpoint of overall survival. Although, of course, we'll be looking at response rate safety and other markers. Um, so this, is a, this study is now open uh, in the US with and planned to be open in several uh, countries, uh, European countries um, in the near future. Uh, the goal will be to enroll uh, at least 150 patients uh, across 80 plus sites. Uh, and hopefully the results will be um, available in the next few years if we can rapidly accrue to the study.